All right, so one of the most popular sequences there are, it, there is, is called the Fibonacci sequence, which is basically built off of each term being the sum of the previous two terms. So just a quick look here. If I look at the first two terms of the sequence, the next term is one. And then if I look at one and one, we get two and so on and so on and so on. So a recursive definition for this sequence is, we'll call it F for Fibonacci. F zero is zero, F one is one, and Fn is equal to Fn minus one plus Fn minus two. Now, a fun fact about this, it might seem like there isn't a way to get a formula for this sequence, but there actually is. And we're gonna explore that in the next section. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at a conjecture here. We want to see if there's a pattern, some known pattern anyway, for the sum of the first n Fibonacci numbers. So we're just gonna take f0 plus f1, f0 plus f1 plus f2, and so on. So when n equals one, the sum is zero plus one, which is one. If we take the previous sum and throw F2 in there, that's gonna be two. If we take that sum and then add F3, that's four, F3 being two. If we take the previous sum and add in F4, which is three, so that's gonna be seven. And then if we add the next Fibonacci number, which is five, we get 12. Now, those numbers themselves don't look like they mean much, but I'm gonna add one to each one and see what happens. That's two, that's three, that's five, that's eight, and that's 13. Notice that those are Fibonacci numbers. In fact, two is F3, three is F4, five is F5, eight is F6, and 13 is F7. So, when we, when we add up to F5, we get one less than F7. So I'm gonna say that this is F7 minus one. In fact, if you look at the rest of them, it seems to hold true. Seven is F6 minus one, and so on and so on. So our conjecture is that F0 plus all the Fibonacci numbers up through Fn is equal to F sub n plus two minus one. And how are we gonna prove that? What better method to prove anything for integers than to use induction? So, first thing to look at is n equals one as the base case. We know that f0 plus f1 is equal to one. We computed that already. And we know that f n plus two is three minus one is two minus one, which is one. So base case is proven. So now we assume that F0 plus F1 plus up through Fk is equal to Fk plus two minus one for some k. So now, what do we do for induction? Here's the inductive step. Then the sum of up to, the sum of the Fibonacci numbers up through the k plus first Fibonacci number should be equal to, well, let's see. By the inductive hypothesis, I know that this is F sub K plus two minus one. And I'm just gonna rewrite us that the Fibonacci numbers are together. But now remember, the sum of two consecutive Fibonacci numbers is the next Fibonacci number. So this is F sub K plus three minus one. And that proves the theorem because with induction, we're trying to get to the next step here. So we want to basically replace n plus or n with n plus one, which gets us n plus three on the right hand side. So that proves our theorem. So that means the sum of any the sum of the first n Fibonacci numbers is go up two spots for that next Fibonacci number and then subtract one, and that's your formula. So there we have it.